Hey guys, it's time to unbox a brand new Samsung phone and this is the third dual camera phone from Samsung. First of course is the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, the flagship phone, the current leader of smartphone from Samsung and then of course they released a Galaxy J phone in specific region and now this is the third phone to have dual cameras and it's called as Samsung Galaxy C8. Taking a look at the box of the phone, it's of course in black color so we have this black box. It's having a full metallic build we have a fingerprint scanner so you can see that logo as well and then dual cameras this traffic light logo and a couple of stuff written here super amoled display 32 gigs of internal memory 3 gigabyte of ram and rest of the stuff is in chinese which i can't read but yeah galaxy c8 is here okay so let's open the box we got two seals let's cut this one here there we go and another one right here boom dear the plastic up All right, Samsung Galaxy C8, lifting the box up. There we have the phone, 4G Plus logo there. This is probably the last uh, bezel mid-range phone from Samsung because in the future, a lot of them are going bezel-less, just like the flagship phone. So as you can see, wow, Samsung Galaxy C8. It looks a lot like a Galaxy, normal Galaxy C phone if you have used or seen the C5 or C7 or C9. So it has that normal look. But we have the dual cameras on the back, which is the main exciting thing. Just going to put this one here and see what's inside the box. We got some paperwork, um, Samsung thing. Let's see, what is this? Oops. It's all in Chinese. I can't read it. Some more paperwork, SMC10. Eight, that's the variant it is. These are the accessories. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, this is USB Type-C cable to so Type-C. No, no, not actually Type-C. Whoa, I'm going too fast. This is not Type-C. This is a normal USB cable, which is weird because, I mean, Galaxy C5 Pro, C7 Pro, they have a Type-C cable, but uh, as you can see, this is the charger. What the hell? It doesn't support fast charging? You gotta be kidding me. This is not a fast charger. Other than that, we have the normal, uh, what you say, Samsung headphones. So let's move the stuff to the side. Let's remove the plastic. Okay. Okay, so solid metal build and uh, it's having this matte black kind of finish. A little bit darker than matte black, but you can see in this lighting that... It's a premium phone. Let's just quickly power on this phone. And as you can see, Samsung Galaxy C8 logo there. I will do some speed test uh, against Galaxy S8 or any other phone that you want to see. You can see that we do have a charging port down below. Again, not Type-C, it's just a normal port along with 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Volume rocker on the left, power button and the speaker on the right. So I really love Samsung phones that actually come with a speaker on the right because you can't block the speaker when you're playing games or watching media. One thing I missed is the front facing flash. So this phone is like the first Galaxy C series phone to have a front LED flash. So as you can see here, this is the front LED flash. So I'm just gonna quickly start with the setup. I'm pretty sure this is the latest UI similar to the Samsung Galaxy S8 or Note 8. You gotta be kidding me. This one actually has a facial recognition feature. Wow. Oh my God, I missed the news. Am I missing something? If I'm not wrong, this is the first ever Samsung mid-range phone or a mid-range phone in general to have a facial scanner. Wow, that is a surprise right there. So we're just gonna quickly go ahead and set up and it makes me think that maybe Samsung will equip this on their future mid-range phones as well. So do not require and pattern done. Continue and there we go, guys. Our first ever mid-range phone, Samsung mid-range phone, to have a facial recognition feature. So as you can see, I'm just going to quickly set it up. So, and we are done. Okay, so uh, I've set up the facial recognition feature, as you can see. Let's see the fingerprint scanner speed. So you don't have to wake your phone up for the fingerprint scanner. So it works all the time. And look at the speed. Wow, that is seriously fast and let's check out the facial recognition look at the speed insane speed right there wow 
Guys, this facial recognition is really, really fast. So super fast facial recognition, as well as a super fast fingerprint scanner. I'm already loving this phone. So looking at the UI, uh, of course, it's very similar to the Samsung Galaxy uh, S8 UI. Oh, did you guys notice that we had a small deck? Let me just close the setting and launch it again. So here we go. Oh, look at that setting. And then we, we saw this UI. So let's open a phone dialer. Okay, same thing, phone logo, and then the app UI. Let's open up gallery. Okay, same thing. Let's check this out on the Galaxy Note 8. So going into phone dialer, no. So this is a small change that I've noticed. And the software on the Galaxy C is exactly like the Galaxy Note 8. So both phones are running on Android 7.1.1 NuGet. Going into software information. As you can see, Samsung Experience 8.5 based on Android 7.1. 1.1 so it's, it's a similar software but but a small change with this mid-range phone which I'm pretty sure you know normally when we see these things happening on the mid-range phone they eventually come to the flagship as well I mean of course not a big deal but you can see the difference it shows this and then it goes into the app UI so we have a beautiful 5.5 inch super AMOLED display 1080p resolution so I really really love this thing about Samsung that you know most of their phones they come with super AMOLED technology and it's perfect it also has big speed so as you can see I have yet to set this one up uh, but there's no physical key on this phone so that's a good thing because I don't really like a physical key just for the AI system. Apart from that small change, the UI is very similar as the Galaxy Note 8 and the S8. You can swipe down to bring the notification panel and swipe up to go to your app drawer. And you can also disable the app drawer to have a full home screen experience. If you want that simple look, you can do that by going into home screen layout. And then we have the home screen only option. Apply it and boom. There we go, everything is on the home screen. Let's launch the camera, and as you can see, it looks exactly like the Galaxy Note 8 UI. Uh, Bixby Vision, Live Focus, stickers, and of course swiping here to the right will give you a lot of features. Of course, Note 8 has uh, the slow motion, which is absent on this one, but other than that, it is looking very similar. And also, the optical zoom is not present here, so you only get uh, Live Focus mode, through that secondary camera sensor, which I'm sure a lot of people use mid-range phone, they will love it. Swiping to the left will take you to your effects, same stuff on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Again, same buttons down below. You can also turn on the full view by pressing uh, this little key. So now you can see there's no um, black bar, so it's just full camera, I love it. I'm pretty sure that this phone does not have dual optical image stabilization like the Galaxy Note 8, so that is something uh, very selected to the flagship Note 8. So live focus implementation is very similar to the Galaxy Note 8 so you have to be at a certain distance like around 1.5 meter and then you focus on the object and it blurs the object in real time just like it happens on the Note 8 so you can ex uh, change the amount of focus and boom capture the image and that's how you get the live focus and I've been able to get some really nice shots so far it has worked really great in the studio as you can see the result and for a mid-range phone I think that is absolutely great. I really want Samsung to bring this dual camera thing to more Samsung phones. Okay so going into the front camera and we have a shocking thing. This one actually has a front facing portrait mode or front facing live focus mode as well as you can see it says selfie focus and it is absent on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 as you can see so far. Uh, we don't have this focus mode on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. I know it can happen with the software update, but you can see the selfie focus mode is present on this mid-range phone, which is crazy. So, And the result of this selfie focus is okay. So what this will do is gonna focus your face and then blur the background. And so far, the result has been okay. Again, the rest of the stuff is similar, apart from one selective feature, which is the front LED flash. So as you can see, the front LED flash is right there. It's turned on. So, and by the way, this is a 13 megapixel sensor. Uh, and the front camera is 16 megapixel and battery size is 3000 million bar so wow what a phone guys i have to say this is this is a secret shocking phone so many features that i personally discovered after unboxing this phone so facial recognition a really fast uh, fingerprint scanner like i said speed was great live focus feature as well as a selfie focus feature 
with the front camera which I'm pretty sure Samsung will bring to the Note 8 as well and of course we have the LED flash as well on the front which is very useful if you are taking selfies in a really dark environment so thank you so much for watching this video I hope you guys have enjoyed the unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy C8 stay tuned for the performance test speed test and everything and I will see you guys in the next one peace out